right, boys and girls, and welcome to Growing Guitar. We have a little bit of a different song here from Milo J. Unabala featuring the Peso Pluma there. I don't know a word from this song here. I don't actually understand its language, of course, but uh, yeah, uh, I thought it would be interesting to cover this song. This is very different in the style of playing here. I'm gonna give you one version of it. Sometimes it stops in the middle of this corporation and it's just quiet and then it continues. But I'm gonna give you one version that stands here almost through entire song and you can play a little bit with it and go around this. This is not like this strict playing type of a song there. So um, this is just a backbone to have with you when you learn to play this song here, okay? So uh, una bala, let's start this one up. And we need to have our capo here high up on the seventh fret. Uh, we want the high notes there and that combined with easy chords. So that's the reason for capo on seventh. All right, so let's go over the chords needed here. So we'll start with the C. That is the first chord. So that is third on A, second on D, open G, first B and open E. The next chord will be D, so that is open D, 2nd G, 3rd B, and 2nd E. And then we have the B or the B7. I'm going to give you two different versions. Why? Because this chord comes right after the D and you really need to switch fast to it. So I have one easier version to get the B and it's actually used here in the song as well. But not all of this one, we had a real B7 as well. So we'll start with B7, that's a bar chord. Take some time to go from D to B7 fast. So this is a little bit harder. But anyway, the chord is not that hard. You place a bar here on the second fret. And you bar all strings except from the last E here in the bass. So just five strings from bottom up. And then you need to add fourth frets on the D string and fourth on B. Okay, that's the first version of the B here you need to learn. But we have also an easier version from D to this B. You just do this short little recuperation here with the fingers like this. So what that is, you get second on the A string, open D, second G, third B and open E. So from the D chord here, you keep that finger, the ring finger on the third fret B string and you just take your index finger and middle finger and place it like this. All right, so it gets much faster than go like this. All right, so that is the second version that I would probably use for this song. And then we have the final chord, the E minor. Okay, so that is open E, second A, second D, open G, open B, and open E. The standard strumming here, we'll look at that now. So that will be like this. Down, 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 up, up, down. So if you have the C there, you're gonna play. Down, 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 up, up, down. All right, so you're gonna play first the C, one string around. Down, 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 up, up, down. Then D, immediately right after there. And you're gonna play just the first two down, down. So the starting of this string pattern, so. And then you go over to B. So the D and the B chord splits on one string around. So the D plays the first start there, down, down, down. And then you have the B that plays down, up, up, down. So you understand, it goes pretty fast here with the chord switches. So first C, then D, or, all right? And then you have basically two string rounds of E minor, but you can add some notes to the second round of it. So the first round will be just plain strumming E minor. Then on second round, you can play like this. Okay, so that is first run round straight, E minor. 
Then on the second round, you play the starting point there, D down, down. And then down up, you play with the added second frets on the E string. This note here. You play down, up, and then you lift off and get up, down. So, down, up on the second fret E string, and then up, down with the open E string. So that is one version of ending here. I showed you two different versions of ending here in the introduction of this tutorial. The second was when I reached out to this notes here on the E string. So the last E minor was So what you do there is to play the E minor. Now I really would prefer to play the E minor with these two fingers, my index and my middle finger on the A and D string there to hold the chord. Why? Because we need to reach out far there. So if you have these fingers, you cannot stretch as far as if you have the two index and mid finger. So with these two fingers, you can stretch a bit longer and get the fifth frets on E string the third fret on E string and the second fret on E string. And if you choose to play this ending here, you have to go outside of the strumming pattern. So you will play something like down, 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 up, up, up. That is up to you. Speaking of up to go and hit the right notes there. Something like that, so. And then you go and start the new next round with C. So you had two different endings there on E minor. So basically, if you just summarize this um, chord progression here, we had one string around for C. Then you had the split here between D and B. You play the D chord with the down, down, and then you switch to B and play down, up, up, down. And then basically you had two string rounds with E minor. One round, the first round is just plain string pattern here. And the last E minor is with the endings. So. Like that. Or. And then you start all over again. And this is uh, really what I would like to give you here for this song. You have this as a backbone. And sometimes it stops around the D chord and gets quiet till perhaps just the last ending on the last uh, E minor. But if you follow this, you will be uh, right in time, had the right timing to go back and throw back again the strumming pattern and get it right in the song here. So this is a big part of this song. And I know this is not a full cover of the actual song. It's a very high and low, gets left and right, and it really plays around with the instrument parts here. Uh, but this is something to hold on to and build around when you try to play Milo J's and Peso Pluma's Una Bala. So I hope you enjoyed this guys and uh, if you did please uh, give me a like on this uh, tutorial and support me here on Goring Guitar. Till next time, play tuned.